Okay, welcome back to the channel. In this video, Matthew Neesmith, PGA Tour, probably owns the simplest golf swing out there right now, so let's take a look. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, and if you like the video, hit the like button as well, because the like really helps the channel grow, so thank you so much for that. So great setup position here, obviously a big, powerful guy, and he gets his club going up, just beautiful plane on the way up. So if you're working on simplifying your own golf swing, this is certainly one to try to copy or emulate because it's short and very simple. Up the plane, get that club in a nice light position as we call it as it goes up. So that shaft up there nicely, a little steeper than the shaft plane. And a little three quarter look at the top, perfectly flat left wrist. Just a simple, simple look there. And as he drops it, planes that thing out nicely. And this week getting it going left on the plane beautifully through impact. He has the face a little more open coming down than some players at this point, but still flat left wrist. And like I said, on the plane beautifully this week, coming around to the left, which gives him a lot of face control. Taking a look here, an approach shot with a wedge. We can see once again, up the plane beautifully. Left arm right along the shoulder plane. Good place to be once again, if you're simplifying your swing, especially with the wedges. Back down to that plane. and Not as open as some players get. He doesn't get the lower body really driving as hard as a lot of players. That's not as open as you see a lot of players using his arms and upper body slightly more than the next guy. But super flexible. You can see him really rotating around into that left heel, left leg straight. So st still creates great movement. Just not quite as flexible probably as the uh, hypermobile PGA Tour guys out there. But super simple angles, and as long as he's got the tempo going to keep that thing left, he can control that face through impact. When we take a look at a slow-mo version here out there on the practice tee, once again, a little more open face for, for his game, working with that tour striker ball on the way up, toe up here, really pinching that together, keeping that ball in there. And the only thing that can go wrong there, honestly, is if the right arm was to pinch too hard in, kind of old school there, it does push the face of the club back. This way some can open that club face. And you'll see a lot of players at this point on the plane and the face already more down this way facing the ball, not as much facing out this way. And that just means you don't have to rotate it quite as hard with the forearms on the way through. Now, because he doesn't have the body clearing as hard as some other players, I'm sure that's kind of, kind of how he's built his golf swing. You can see the hips not as open there as lots of players on the tour. But anyone who's working with the triangle together concept at this level is bound to have a little bit more face rotation. And because of that, perhaps a little less consistency than someone who really has a face square all the way through the bottom of the arc point to note here with his putting since he made so many putts on saturday and long putts as well very interesting grip on the putter and then holding the putter with the thumbs and palms completely opposing putting pressure from the outside there and really locking in the wrist now he doesn't have to be tight to lock in the wrist he can be supple but in terms of keeping equal pressure very easy with a wide grip like this Unusual, you don't see it very often. It tends to come up from time to time over the years. But wow, he's got it going this week with this putting grip. Okay, and lastly with the driver here, obviously not the best angle. But we can see great setup, good modern setup, not butt out. Belt line sitting 90 degrees to the low spine. Great there for the back. Upper body relaxed, not too tight. Looks very good. A little sink into the right hip. Not a huge fan of that move. Tends to get some players too far behind the ball. But he's on tour, so we're going to give him a pass, obviously. Up to the top. We know he works the ball between the elbows. Drill. Gets the face a little more open, a little more cupped. And with the right hip thrusting hard, coming this way, we'll get him up out of posture sometimes, and that will flip that club face at the bottom. Could be trouble on some weeks. This week, obviously, he's ripping it. 
So we hope he gets it all the way to the house on Sunday, keeps making a bunch of putts, and gets a win. And for the average player out there, obviously great technique. Get you all the way down to a low handicap. But for these guys who are really trying to keep that ball just in this corridor out here, can be tougher to get that going week in and week out. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Matthew Neesmith, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.